CBs, it's the sweetest vegan here. Today on the show, we'll be doing the quintessential southern baking thing. We're making an apple pie. Here we go. We're gonna start this recipe off with our pie crust already prepared. If you need the dough recipe, see yesterday's video or the description below. Now we're going to blind bake our pie crust. It's already in the pan. You want to cover it with foil and fill it with beans. I don't have beans, so I'm gonna use another pie pan and weigh it down with a baking dish. This makes no sense, but whatever. Put <laughs> the pie crust in an oven that has been preheated to 375 degrees for 20 minutes. While that is baking, we're going to make our filling. I have three types of apples here, Red Delicious, Golden Delicious, and Granny Smith. I just wanted to use a variety, but you can use whatever apples you want. People get all antsy and up in arms about what apples is a baking apple, cooking apple, I don't care. Use whatever you want, <laughs> cause I am. First we're gonna peel them all. Then we're gonna cut the meat away from the core and I'm dicing my apple. You can use slices or chunks or whatever, but I just want to be able to fit the maximum amount of apple into the pie. Add the apple to a bowl and put in raw sugar, all-purpose flour, cinnamon, nutmeg, vanilla extract, ground ginger, and salt. Now stir it all together with a wooden spoon. You don't want to mush your apples up to make applesauce, you just want to stir it enough to combine it. Once your pie crust is done blind baking, take off your beans and your foil and then we're going to dollop on little dots of vegan butter. Once it is melted, pile in your apple mixture. I'm going to attempt to do a lattice pie crust with my top crust. You can just put on the whole thing and cut in ventilation slices or you could take a pastry slicer cutter thing and make these little strips. Weave them together on top of your pie and you're done. Mine came out a little funky because my pie crust was breaking up and it wasn't really cooperating. Somehow my shortening bunched together in one spot and it's just like shortening on one side. I don't know what happened, but we got it done. Your oven should already be preheated to 375 degrees and your pie is going to bake for 45 to 50 minutes. Now, it is done. Now, I must admit my personal bias towards anything with apple in it. Love apples, love all of the apples, can eat all of them all day long. <laughs> but I've made several apple pies on this very YouTube channel and none of them have ever come out as good as this one. The texture of the apples, I finally got enough apples to be dense enough to fill up the whole apple pie without sinking in in the middle and they just stay plump and juicy and with that all-purpose flour mixed in, it creates this gooiness to really fill up the space and soak up that juice so you don't have puddles of juice at the bottom but you have juiciness throughout it's really really good all the spices all the butteriness is so good plus the pie crust that we made yesterday as an awesome touch is flaky it's crusty it is awesome love this pie and I hope you do too thank you so much for watching today if you like this video click thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed to my channel to get updates when I upload click the subscription button and if you want to see all the videos from the southern queen of vegan cuisine project there is a playlist down below bye that is really loud can you all hear that it's somebody's chainsawing outside and put in, add the apple to a bowl, add the apple to a bowl, add the apple to a bowl and put in, on this channel before, but I've made, the dog is barking, but I've made several apple pies on this very YouTube channel.